Hi, my name's Thomasina Myers and I'm a cook and I love travelling. I love to go to a country and go to the markets and I love to see what the locals are eating. I like to wander around shopping for amazing ingredients like these incredible chilies, local garlic, herbs, fresh fruit and vegetables. I love to get a holiday home rental with my husband, with friends, with kids and really get stuck into the local flavours. And today I'm going to cook a grilled steak with a chimichurri salsa which is going to be quick and easy but packed with local flavour. This recipe is inspired from my travels around the Americas and it is so delicious. It's a really, really simple marinade and I'm going to grill the steak with this wonderful punchy marinade and then we're going to have a wonderful salsa on top. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my garlic in the pestle and mortar. Just bash the cloves with your pestle and that will release the skin. So now that I've got my garlic in there, I want to season it. Salt some freshly ground black pepper, a smoked paprika, which is a great, great spice. I'm going to add a good teaspoon of smoked paprika in there and cumin, a wonderful spice that they use all over the Americas. Of course, I wouldn't cook anything on a barbecue without a few chilies in. I'm just going to crumble them into the pestle and mortar, like so, with some thyme, lots of lovely fresh thyme. Now I'm just going to bash it around. Now, of course, if you don't have a pestle and mortar in your kitchen, you can just finely chop all the ingredients and you'll just get exactly the same result. So now that I've got all this ground up, I can add the juice of a lemon, some extra virgin olive oil. It's going to stir that in. And all we have to do now is pour this over the steak, marinate it overnight, preferably, but if you don't have time, just for a couple of hours. And here's one I made earlier. Now for the salsa. So first of all, I've got here a good bunch of coriander and parsley, and I'm just going to chop it up. I'm going to add them to my pestle and mortar. Now in this pestle and mortar, I've got pretty much the same ingredients that have gone into the marinade. To all this, I'm going to add my coriander and my parsley that's chopped up, and some vinegar, and this is sherry vinegar, but you can use red wine as well, and extra virgin olive oil. Not only for the silkiness, but for the flavour. Just give that a stir. And the salsa is ready. It really doesn't take any more time than that. So my meat's been marinating only for a couple of hours, actually, but it's always best overnight. And my char grill is searingly hot and in it goes. And we're going to cook it for about four minutes aside because it's quite thick steak. While my steak's cooking, I'm just going to dress a bit of salad, a bit of lemon juice, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. Very, very simple garnish. And look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Lovely char grilled. So my steaks are cooked and they're smelling delicious. My salad, which I'm just going to pop there on the side. Got some of that delicious salsa there. It really packs a punch. And you can see the way you can transform your holiday into a creative, fun process and eat such great food full of local flavour. And the next recipe I'm going to cook takes me back to Italy with a wonderful recipe for caramelised figs with a lavender honey.